they just take him to a fire station or police station, no questions asked, just give me my dog and, and I'll pay. I will pay a reward if I can get him back. That reward would go to anyone who can help her find Blue, a two-year-old tricolor Yorkie Terrier. Blue's been with us on every excursion we've gone. This time, Blue was with Peggy, her mom, aunt, and cousin at 1.30 this morning when they were unloading their bags at the Senesta Hotel in Emeryville. They just made it to the Bay Area after driving from Arizona one day after burying Peggy's dad, a blind military veteran who served this country for 35 years. Blue was his dog. We had almost everything unloaded and my aunt Karen says, hey, give us our bag. They say someone started walking away with a piece of luggage. Everyone started jumping in to try and stop him. And he started pulling out of his right pocket. We thought it was either a knife or a gun. Then suddenly the truck started moving with blue inside and another person behind the wheel. So he punches it in my truck and I'm yelling, please just give me my dog, keep the truck. And there goes our only transportation, there goes our dog and I'm thinking, how are we going to you're 13 hours from home? I live in Indiana and there goes everything. Peggy's cell phone was inside her truck. She was able to track its location through her Apple Watch. Police found it a short time later with the engine running on Peralta and Haven Street in Oakland. But Blue was gone. The thieves also got away with Peggy's 38 special. He's six pounds. He does have anxiety. He's always looking for Nana or his mom. The ladies say they will only be able to stay in the Bay Area until Saturday. Police are searching encampments for Blue. Meanwhile, this family is devastated. Blue's everything. He's our last connection to dad. In Emeryville, Cheryl Hurd, NBC Bay Area News.